Hi guys, this is our help video on our color and texture variation tab. Um, I'm gonna go over this. If you've used any of our other products, it's the exact same tab. So um, don't be, I mean, we're trying to make everything exactly the same. So um, you know how to use one product, you know how to use them all. But if you haven't seen this, um, what this does, and I'm just gonna do, let's just do a quick render now of this little scene. And you're going to see, as this goes, there's, there's not a lot of variation in these textures. And that's what make, you know, images don't look real realistic because all your trees are the same color, all your bushes are the same color. So let me just stop this. Um, so anything you painted in your scene, you can turn on color correction. And I'm going to do a variation count of 12. Uh, the more you pump this up, you're going to use a little more memory. 12 is pretty good anyway. I'm going to do a little hue shift. I'm going to do some saturation. I'm going to do some brightness and I'm going to do some contrast. So I'm going to render this out now and you're going to see that it's applied this to all the little nodes in that we've added into here. So you can see our greens. Well, I mean, this might be a little much. I've pushed this up a bit too much on the um, hue shift. Uh, but you can see we've got a variation in trees now and it gives us sort of a more of a realistic look in an easy way. So we didn't have to go through and create all sorts of materials and apply that to this. Um, this is simply just how it works. All right, so if I stop this, now if I had another tree here with, and this one's sort of got multi-materials on it. So it's got a bark material and it's got a couple of leaf materials. If I was to go into our color correction and say, okay, I wanna use material name filtering and I say anything with the name of Bark, and that'll be anything as a wild card too. So if it's called Bark 01, Bark 02, or Tree Bark, it's gonna find this. So if I add this to our list and say, add this, make our list excludes, it's gonna go around and add the color variation to our leaves, but not our bark material. So you can sort of change this around. So if you were doing cars, you could say, I just want the variation in the car paint. I don't want all the tires to change different colors or anything like that. So it sort of gives you a little more flexibility for um, color variation. So very basic, like I said, if you used our um, Cyclone or you used our uh, Proxi, it has the exact same color correction built into that. Um, thanks a lot, guys. See ya.